CloudSec has already been supporting direct download templates for KVM hypervisor which allows bypassing secondary storage and templates will be directly downloaded into the primary storage. Now this functionality has been improved with support for direct download templates for the system VM templates. So now system VM templates can also be uh, added as uh, direct download templates and they will work as normal in the cloud stack with 414. Uh, let's add a new template for uh, using a template as system VM template. Uh, we would first need to register a, a new template uh, as uh, maybe routing template so we are registering a new template this is only supported for KVM so we will set it as KVM template we check this direct download uh, flag and maybe set the OS as Debian GNU uh, we will first set it as routing template so as we can see here, we have changed this flag. Template is registered. So if we go into zones now, it says bypass secondary storage. Mm. To use it as a routing template, we will set it in global settings. So we change this global setting uh, by setting the name of new template, which was new template. Now if we see we have one virtual router and uh, if we destroy and recreate it, it will, it should be all recreated, it should use our new template. We will restart network with cleanup that should allow recreation of virtual router. New template is starting now, oh, new router is starting now. So, uh, first we need to check id of our new template that is new template id is this if we now check our router template so as you can see it is using the same id that was seen here So it is working for uh, virtual routers. Now we need to check if same thing works for uh, system VMs, that is secondary storage VM and the console proxy VM. But first we need to set our newly added template as system because we have not upgraded yet uh, our environment. So we need to make some changes into uh, back backend database that would allow uh, our uh, new template which was being registered as router template to be uh, changed into system template so let's make that change here
if we refresh it now it should reflect a system template now if we recreate our system VMs it should they should be using our new template Meanwhile, we can check if our virtual router has been started correctly. Now it is still in a starting state, so let's wait for it to get started. System VM templates, uh, system VM will also uh, restart in a while, as we can see they are already in a starting state our virtual router has been started so we can see it is running now and we as we have saw, seen it was using our new template if you go back to system vm they are in a starting state yet so we need to check if they are using new templates or the older template right now so There are two system VMs, so as we can see, template value is this, which is here also, and it is the same template value which we found in our new template. That is E eight eight zero FD something. Let's see if system VMs has been started console proxy has been started so if we go to our vm and try to see its console it should i think it is still working up so as you can see our vm is showing its console so console proxy system VM is working fine secondly storage VM is still in booting state so let's wait for it It is running now, agent will be up soon. Agent is up now, so we can see our direct download template which we registered as new template is being used for system VMs as well. This is, uh, this feature is coming up in uh, CloudStack 414, so you can try that.